I'm Lady Aska and today I want to show you how to trigger your accessories that we got in our last tutorial with blend shapes. Make them appear and disappear with the push of a button. For this we will only be working in Unity today and this time you can actually just open your previous project and continue from there. If you want to start fresh, remember to also import the UniVM plugin and the Bone Transfer plugin. Links are, as always, down in the description. I assume you just added your accessories, maybe a tail too, and want to tie them now to certain blend shapes, so you can trigger them whenever you want. If you don't know how to add accessories yet, I suggest you go watch that tutorial first and then come back here. To show the effect a bit better, I actually created a different tail this time, so the effect of turning it on and off would be better visible. I also added some animal ears. First, we select the accessory that you want to control. We start here with the tail. As with our previous blend shapes, we start to set a neutral state first, which I assume is your tail not showing. If you want to do the reverse, that means hiding the tail with the button press, you would ignore this step now and repeat it later with blend shapes. To hide the tail, we go to materials and set the tail in the inspector to cut out and the color slider for transparency all the way up. You will see the tail disappears on your model. Now we will go to blend shapes and select blend shapes and add a new blend shape clip under create blend shape clip. I will name this one simply tail. We go to the material list and add our tail material which will likely be named hair plus a number and add underscore color. We now can put the transparency down again and set the color to white, so our original color comes through. If you followed one of the previous blend shape tutorials, all this should look pretty familiar. If your goal was to make the tail disappear, you would just set the transparency up here and you're good. Now to our headset. To show you how we could make that a bit more interactive, I want that the headset appears, but the animal ears disappear in the very same moment. So we set the headset from the material list to cut out and transparent again and start working on the blend shape. I will also create a new one for this, which I will call animal underscore ears. I will select the headset material now from the list and select color like previously. We repeat the same step by making the headset visible again and restore the original color. In this case, I have two materials and have to select both to make this effect work. After that, we go again into the material list and add now the ear material in. We also add underscore color again and set the transparency slider all the way up. So now we should have the following effect, that whenever we trigger that blend shape in VC phase, the headset should pop into existence, but the animal ears disappear. To test it, we export our avatar as usual over the VRM menu at your top menu bar. Select your model, the right language, for us this is English, and the version, if your model doesn't have one already. We now load everything into VC Base and go to the expression settings. Here we set key bindings for our new blend shapes and set the transition times to zero. And there you go! Have fun experimenting with combinations and remember that if you are streaming on Twitch, you can also set these kind of keys to be triggered by channel point redeems using the onboard, so people can give you a tail or wings and so on. Till next time, hope you have a wonderful day!